you know, he's the bigger man, but I'm the faster man. He's the much stronger man, but I'm fresh. He's experienced. And yes, he looks like a beast. He's a dog. He's Iron Mike Tyson, but I believe I have what it takes to, to beat him. And I know this is the toughest test of my life and it's an honor to be in there with Mike. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna be the one who gets my hand raised. Jake Paul is preparing to fight Mike Tyson, feeling underestimated by the legendary boxer. The fight is set to take place on July 20th, and Paul is confident in his abilities and believes he can defeat Tyson despite the odds. Yeah, look, uh, it's gonna be tough. He, he's the, the bigger man, so you're right. He's gonna be getting inside. I'm probably gonna be at Chick-fil-A with <laughs> Mr. Trump, trying to gain weight for this fight, but I believe that I have the faster feet and the faster hands, so I'm gonna be working angles. And, you know, I don't mind. Mike, Mike can have the game plan. I'm still gonna win. That's how confident I, I am in my opinion. Jake Paul made the response when he was asked what would happen if the ex-heavyweight champion of the world attempted to repeat his infamous bites on Evander Holyfield during their second fight in 1997, for which he was subsequently disqualified in the third round. What happens if Tyson bites your ear off? He can't, he can't bite my ear off if I knock his teeth out. <laughs> the question continues to nag the Mike Tyson and Jake Paul clash. Is it going to be an exhibition fight or a pro boxing bout? However, during an exclusive on Fox News, the problem child spilled the beans about how both he and Iron Mike Tyson would rather have the fight. Yeah, man, it's, it's so annoying that people on the internet will believe anything they see or hear. There's been so much misinformation, uh, I mean, we I mean, know this I more than anyone that on, on Fox News. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, Mike and I want this to be a pro fight, full face shots. We're submitting that request to the commission. It's an all out war. There's been all these fake videos about not being able to hit each other, big gloves, all of that stuff. And it's all, as Trump would say, fake news. <laughs> you know, on the other end, on the same network, Mike Tyson shared that it will be an exhibition fight. However, with real fight regulations. Which I'm accustomed to, and he's gonna be greatly mistaken. Let's talk about, uh, there's been a lot of rumors out there about the fight that maybe uh, you got to have 18 ounce gloves, you're gonna be wearing headgear, any no, truth in that? No, not true at all, not true, not true, no true. Listen, um, this is called an exhibition, but if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. Sean Hannity, the host of the Fox News Channel show Hannity asked, there's been a lot of rumors out there about the fight that maybe you're gonna have 18 ounce gloves, you're gonna be wearing headgears. Any truth in it? The youngest heavyweight champion in history replied, former undisputed heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis has given a bold prediction ahead of Jake Paul's upcoming exhibition bout against Lewis's former opponent and fellow heavyweight legend, Mike Tyson. Speaking to TMZ Sports, Lennox Lewis declared that Jake Paul should be relieved that the bout could not be sanctioned, with the Brit adding that he would fear for Paul's health had the contest been going on to Mike Tyson's official record. He stated, it's going to be a great fight. I am looking forward to it. No, I'm not upset about it not being a professional bout because I would feel really bad for Jake Paul. I don't want him to get hurt. But Jake Paul, who claims to have serious world title ambitions, has taken a break from fighting journeyman to face boxing legend Tyson. He has faced heavy criticism for accepting a bout with the aging fighter, but insists it will be evenly matched. Paul stated, it's very 50 50 -ths. To the people who don't think I'm going to win, I'm younger, faster, sharper, and can hit at the same level that he can and be able to take his punches. And Mike Tyson has also hit out at the event's critics, insisting, I'm 58 and what? I'm getting billions of views from just talking to somebody about fighting. Everybody, even most of the athletes, they're jealous. That's whack. I say in your prime, you couldn't draw a million people, man. What are you talking? You couldn't sell out an arena. Who at 58 could sell out an 80 seat arena? Much has been said of Tyson's age, with the boxer 30 years older than Paul and having last competed in a professional bout back in 2005. Yet UFC commentator Joe Rogan has insisted that Tyson still has the tools to dismantle Paul. Rogan said on his eponymous podcast, just forget that Jake Paul is a YouTube guy and watch him fight. The kid can fight, 100%. That Tommy Fury fight really showed that. It goes to a split decision against a legit undefeated boxer. He continued, I don't give a 
he's 55. That's still Mike Tyson. He trains with Rafael Cordero, who's a legend in MMA. He runs King's Mixed Martial Arts. Rafael is a world-renowned trainer. When you see him holding the emmets for Tyson and Tyson is smashing the mitts, Jesus, that guy can still you up in this world with hormone replacement and vitamins. He does all this electrical muscle stimulation recovery stuff. Triple H has explained why Jake Paul is a genius for fighting boxing legend Mike Tyson. Triple H has given his honest assessment of Paul versus Tyson. Speaking to Logan Paul on his podcast Impulsive, Triple H hailed the problem child for distributing the bout on Netflix. He said, When I first heard that deal, and you know I saw the announcement just like everybody else did, I was like, he's gonna fight Tyson. And then just in my mind, I was like, oh, that'll be a good pay-per-view. That'd be cool. I was like, they're going to run a pay-per-view? And then when I realized, no, it's just on Netflix. Oh my, kid's a genius. The 54-year-old also touched on the actual fight between Paul and Tyson as he revealed how he'd approach facing the former world heavyweight champion. He added, if the old Mike Tyson shows up for five minutes, like, how do you get past that? Right, right? That's, he doesn't need to be there for the whole fight, just needs to be there for five minutes, five seconds. Yeah, I don't know. I hear your strategy, and I see your strategy. I don't know that I wouldn't just run for two, three rounds and hope that he gets tired. Partnering with Netflix to bring Paul versus Tyson to audience worldwide has been described as a strategic decision to ensure that the event reaches six generations of sports fans. Tyson commented on the event saying he was very much looking forward to stepping into the ring, but many have expressed concern for the 57-year-old, including former cruiserweight champion Tony Bellew. Bellow stated, I am worried about it personally, but listen, you don't know what's been agreed between the two. It's frightening that Mike Tyson is going back into a boxing ring against somebody who is more than 30 years younger than him. It's just a bit nuts. I'm hoping that the fight is a bit of a circus and a bit scripted because I wouldn't want to see Mike get hurt in any way, shape, or form. So what does Anthony Joshua think about the event? Speaking on The Jonathan Ross Show, AJ commented on Tyson's age before making his prediction. He, Tyson, is older now. I pray that he comes out healthy. I think Jake Paul wins because of youth. That's the only thing. I personally think influencer boxing is really good. I think the boxing hardcores, they don't like it because they think, why are they disrespecting our sport? But I think that person brings all these people into boxing, which benefits everyone else. Everyone viewing helps. But Mike Tyson just delivered the coldest message to Jake Paul. I don't think I'll be smoking for this fight. I think I'm gonna be really, really irritable and nasty. And this guy's gonna come, he's gonna try to hurt me. He's gonna be greatly mistaken. I don't think he's faster than me. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. Like right now, I'm, I'm scared to death. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. Tyson Fury, meanwhile, has thrown his support behind Tyson's much-talked-about return to the sport and called the upcoming bout against Paul an even match. He told the stomping ground. I think it's fantastic for boxing. You've got a legend in Mike Tyson. You've got a YouTube boxer, Jake Paul. He has come into the game and blew it up, and he's got millions of followers and millions of views and millions of eyes. Good, bad, or indifferent. Some people love him, some people hate him. So, I think it's a really good spectacle for boxing. Brings a lot of people to the game. On Monday, KSI, whose full name is Olajide Olayinka Williams Olatunji, took to social media with an announcement of his own, which appeared to aim a cheeky dig at Paul and Tyson. The Brit wrote on social media, I'm back, baby, fighting 75-year-old legend and former champ. Don't worry, age ain't nothing but a number. Foreman hits harder and is faster than ever before. KSI's message was accompanied by a poster with his and Foreman's face on, which also included the words, no judges, five second rounds, 150 ounces gloves, no knockouts and no punching allowed. It is quite clear that this was an April's Fool's joke, which KSI has used to perhaps mock the fight between Paul and Tyson. Speaking about fighting Paul, Tyson said, I'm very much looking forward to stepping into the ring with Jake Paul at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. He's grown significantly as a boxer over the years, so it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of a goat. It's a full circle moment that will be beyond thrilling to watch, as I started him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones and now I plan to finish him on his social media channels. Paul shared a video of the third day of his training camp with the accompanying message. Day three, Mikey, Mikey, your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. Tyson was regarded among the hardest boxers in history. However, Paul has questioned whether the legend's power is a myth, Paul said on his BS podcast. I want to see how hard he hits. 
Mike, I really want to see, bro. Let's see all the legends, the myths, because you're Iron Mike Tyson, but I have an iron chin. People know that. I take shots. I think people are underestimating me for being able to deal with his power, and that's something that's going to make it interesting. I am biting off a lot. This is definitely the toughest, most savage, lethal opponent regardless of age because power is the last thing to go. The reaction and reception of it is insane. I almost can't even believe it, so very surreal and very, very grateful for all of that. We're going to see. I'm excited. I literally can't wait to look across the ring and see him and give him a death stare. UFC icon Chuck Liddell revealed how a street fight with Mike Tyson would play out as he made a massive claim about the returning boxing legend. The ex-UFC champion believes he'd beat Tyson in a street fight, stating the legendary boxer would only have a puncher's chance. He stated, in a street fight I'd win. I mean, he's got a puncher's chance. He's got a chance to catch me coming in. But other than that, it's over. Former UFC star Nate Diaz didn't hesitate when predicting the winner of the upcoming boxing fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Hey. Real what? quick, real quick, everyone wants to know your take, man. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, who you got? No, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson? Canelo Alvarez says Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul is more of a show rather than a fight, as he delivered a ruthless assessment. Jake Paul getting in there versus Mike Tyson. Does it interest you, and, and how do you see that fight going down in, in July? Not at all. Not at all. If Netflix being involved, yes, it's good. But no, in that kind of fight. I think is more show than a fight. The Problem Child will meet the former heavyweight champion on July 20th at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Do you agree with what most of the fans expressed in the comments box? Please share your views with us in the comments below.